just the way that human nature has evolved as as it is now. And look, I get, you know, well, these people had difficulties in their It's like, yeah, but there's the values, right? There's the values that people say, sympathy for the victim. You know, the woman who's who's a victim of rape, right? Well, she can't have done anything to have brought it on herself. No slut shaming. Fine. That's a great idea. But the idea that somebody would say, a woman would say, or a man would say, I was raped. And people would say, ooh, that makes you shoddy. That makes you dirty. That means that you are damaged goods. Do you, do you know how horrifying that would be? And, and what a recoil in society that would be for a woman who was raped to then recoil from her as if she were damaged goods and that you just didn't want to hear about it because it soiled the interaction. That she was dirty and she was stained by being victimized. But this is what the victims of child abuse live with every day. The recoiling from society, the, ooh, you know, ooh, I don't want to talk about that. That's uncomfortable. Oh, I don't like that. This is not right. This is bad. Well, that's guilt because everyone knows a child who was abused. Almost everyone knows somebody, a child who was abused. And these fuckers did nothing about it. And then they get uncomfortable because it's their bad conscience that is being pricked. Well, fuck you and your conscience. I'm here. I'm a prick. And I'm going to do it. Sorry if it makes you feel bad. It's either you or me, fuckers. I'm just trying to think back on. Oh. Yeah, I'm a. Uh, no, when a great wrong really has realist. been done in the world, someone gets to feel bad. Someone gets to feel bad, right? And the great wrongs that have been done. Why are people calling into this show like you? Because who else is going to listen and really get it? Who else is going to say, yeah, tell me more. And I'm so sorry. And I get it. And I, I empathize. And right. Yeah. And who is, uh, I mean, who, who else is not going to say bullshit while well, they did the best they could and the knowledge they had? Yeah. I'm sure they meant well. Yeah, I, I've heard that too. You know, I was raped. Well, I'm sure he meant well. I was raped. Well, I'm sure that your rapist was doing the best he could, but the knowledge he had. So you should sympathize with his bad childhood and marry him. Imagine oh, saying that to a rape victim. It's like, my mom was a horrible person who beat me up screamed at me, was lividly insane in my face every day. And people are like, well, she was doing the best she could, but the knowledge she had, I'm sure she meant, well, you really should go and see her on Mother's Day. Really? Really? And that's what you say to the victims of all other kinds of abuse. My husband beat me up every day for 20 years. Well, okay, but it is your anniversary coming up, so you be sure to buy him something nice. And you go out to a nice meal with him because he's going to be with you for the rest of your life. You can never get divorced, you see, because he's your husband. I didn't choose him. He was assigned to me by the village elders. Well, that's just a challenge that will make you stronger in the overcoming of. Maybe you chose him in a past life. Oh, my fucking God. Oh, my fucking God. You clusterfuck of brain-numbing, heart-rending assholes. How many victims of multi-year abuse are told to go back, forgive, and bond with their abusers? Hey, I know you were in a concentration camp, but you really should go and become best buds with that Nazi. Because he was doing the best he could with the knowledge he had, and I'm sure he meant well. And it's International Nazi Day tomorrow, so you be sure to pick him up a nice fucking Glock, okay? Make him feel good. He's getting old. Wow. Bullshit. 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 Hard fucking child-rending bullshit. Everyone who chooses a relationship gets to be victimized. We who never chose our parents in any way, shape, or form, we must continually be victimized by saying, you got to go back for more, always, no matter what.
No matter if they don't change, no matter if they escalate, no matter if they continue to verbally abuse you, no matter if they continue to threaten you, you've got to go back because I did nothing. The whole time you were victimized and I don't want to feel bad, so you go back. You stuff your fucking future into the cracks of my bad conscience because I don't want to feel bad, so you've got to get your whole fucking life ruined so I don't have a twinge of conscience. So go back because I don't want to feel bad. I didn't save you from the rape, so you go marry your fucking rapist and I'll call it love. That's the world that we live in and that's the horror that you see when you talk about your history with people. And the only thing more repellent than the abusers is the enablers, which is just about everybody else. Yeah. And they know that. The abusers know that. That's why they can do what they do. The bank robbers know there's no security cameras. They know everyone's going to look away. They know the teller's going to hand over the money. And the bank manager's going to drive them to Florida. That's why they steal. They know. And this is why abusers can do what they do. Because they know everyone's going to say, you were raped. Go marry your rapist. Or you're a bad person because you were a child and fuck children. That's the mantra of the world. Fuck children. Pile them with national debt. Shove them in the shitty schools. Drug them if they don't comply. Fuck children. That is the national anthem of the entire fucking planet. Fuck children. Oh, you don't want to hear that Jesus died for your sins? Fuck you. He did. Too bad. We're just going to topple that ancient fucking Jewish zombie corpse into your crib and call it a loving reunion. Oh, you don't want to feel like you were born evil just for breathing? Too bad you were. Fuck you, kids. Oh, I can't take out my frustrations on adults because they can have me thrown in jail? Fuck you, kids. I'm just going to hit you a thousand times a year. Oh, we don't want to confront unions. We don't want to confront entitled people. We don't want to face up to the fact in America that the social and economic system is so completely fucked up that one in five families has zero people working, zero people working. We don't want to confront our fucked up system. We don't want to deal with the fact that voting is just bribery. So fuck you, kids. We're selling you off. You get born $1.4 million in debt. Too fucking bad. Fuck you. How much of society could even remotely function if the central mantra of the planet was not fuck the kids at every opportunity from all angles and in every conceivable way? Oh, we don't want to take on the teachers' unions. We don't want to take on property taxes. We don't want to take on shitty schools. Fuck you, kids. You got to go and we'll call, we'll call it the illusion of an education. We don't want to deal with the fact that there's school bullying. So fuck you, kids. We're going to force every goddamn asshole kid into the same cage at all times. And we're going to have really fucked up families. And we're going to pay kids to, to pay moms to serially have kids with unworthy sperm donors. You get to grow up without dads in shitty neighborhoods with shitty unmotivated teachers in schools designed and run by prisons. By prison, people who design and run prisons with, with metal detectors so that you don't get stabbed. And we're going to drug half the kids with drugs that the FDA puts a black box warning on to say this makes people fucking homicidal. We're going to cage all these kids up together, pump them full of drugs that make them murderous. And then do you know what we're going to do? We're going to say to kids, you should have an anti-bullying campaign. Like where's the anti-rape PSAs for prisons? You guys should just get together and not rape. Be strong. Wear a bracelet. It's insane. I mean, it's so fucking mental. It's so mental. But who can talk about this? Uh, could culture survive? Could religion survive? Could statism survive? Could what we call the world as it stands even remotely survive? If we drop the mantra of screw kids and we actually designed our lives around what children need and deserve. Science is pretty clear. Breastfeed them, 
kiss them, <laughs> love them, educate them, hug them, negotiate with them. Don't raise your voice. Don't yell at them. That's just for the listeners. <laughs> Be nice to them. Hey, look, it's paradise. <laughs> All of a sudden. If we actually did what science has been saying very clearly for a half decade, what needs to be done for children, if we just said, okay, well, let's do, you know, if we actually live by our fucking values, we all say children, the future, children, everything. What if we just said, hey, let's do what's good for children. Let's try that shit on for size. Instead of burying them debt, shoving them in shitty schools, uh, hitting them, yelling at them, uh, indoctrinating them with, with religion and statism and patriotism and military worship and, and shit like that. What if we just did what was right for children according to science? Oh, we can't do any of that because the whole fucking world is fuck children and I don't want to live in a world that looks alien to me. And if there's no fuck children in the world, I don't even know what planet I'm on. And I don't want to go off world, go to Mars. We already live on the planet of war. We already live on the red planet. And it's the war is against children and all the other wars are just the shadow of the war on children. Anyway, that's my, um, my thoughts about your supposed social anxiety. I think you should have more. <laughs> and it's not a disorder. It's not a disorder. It's a recognition. It's no. not. A, it, it is a clear-eyed view, unconsciously, of where the world is. See, I, I've never thought of it like that. Now, <sighs> you are raped by weapons: economic weapons, educational weapons, propaganda weapons. You are ringed by weapons. Fucking 9,000 lasers on your body and people say, well, he seems to have an anxiety disorder. Hey, I tell you what, put the fucking guns down. Stop selling the children off to foreign banksters and stuffing them in sociopathic run schools. How about we stop pointing guns at children and then we'll see how many fucking disorders they have that need to be medicated. Oh, I've got a good idea. Why don't you stop scaring the living shit out of children with global warming? That might be nice. Let's say it's real. It's not something children should deal with. How I've got a great fucking idea. Stop telling children it's almost the fucking end of the world, which they can't do anything about because even the adults can't do anything about it or aren't. There's psychiatrists who are saying that they've never seen anxiety disorders this high in children. And one of the major causes of anxiety disorders in children is global warming terror porn. Stop telling children it's the end of the fucking world, that they're going to burst into flames and die, and all the butterflies are going to fall at their feet in flames. But fuck kids. We've got a political agenda. We need to sell some fucking carbon credits. So David Suzuki, inhale all of the fiery pro propaganda you can imagine and breathe like fucking smog on the hopes and hearts of children. <laughs> burn, babies, burn. We want power. So, yeah. Social anxiety disorder. I can see that. Ha, <laughs> ha,